All right, what's up, Blender Savages? So today I'm gonna show you how to model a jack-o'-lantern. Be low poly, nice, cute little jack-o'-lantern. All right, so first things first, the uh, pumpkins jack-o'-lanterns are not cube shaped, they're more uh, round. So I'm gonna delete the cube there. X key, delete key. There we go, click on that menu there. Now Shift A, bring in a UV sphere, your mesh UV sphere. So Shift A brings up the add menu, there you go, UV sphere. Make sure I have a number lock on on your number pad. I made one for front view, then the decimal key on the number pad. There we go. All right, I want to take this to edit mode. Tab key, I'm in edit mode now. <clears throat> All right, this kind of looks more like a pumpkin here. Uh, a little too round. Pumpkin's a little more oval shaped, right? Well, I guess it depends on the, on the species. So I'm going to set them for top view so I can start making the rhyme. Now my loop select this whole loop right here. This loop right here in the front. And I'm gonna scale that inward, but instead of doing one at a time, I'm gonna do multiple loops. So I'm gonna hold down the alternate key. I'm gonna left click on this edge right here, not the vertex, not the vertex. If I get this one, it's hit or miss on what I select. I might get the, the vertical one, or I guess that would not be the vertical one. <laughs> this one here is the one I want. So I'll click on this edge here, or this edge down here, anything along that edge right there. Hold down the alternate key, and then left click it. <clears throat> so seven on the number pad for top view. Now I'm gonna to skip two, and then select the third. Skip two, select the third one there. And I'm gonna do this from the front first, work my way to the back because these are not uh, divisible by three. So let me show you here, alternate and shift. Skip two, get that one. Skip two, get that one. I'm gonna go in this direction now. Skip two, left click there. 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 And there we go, skip two. Skip two on that side, skip two there, and skip two there. So this one's odd right there, right? There's not two there, but that one's in the back. No one's gonna see that. It's gonna hide that one back there. <clears throat> All right, so I'm gonna scale these inward a bit. The S for scale, and 0.95. And there we go. Looks more like a, like a pumpkin there. Got the rhyme. Now, the this right here doesn't usually uh, go in that much, right? So I'm gonna pull those out. So I'll hit one for front view. And you hit the number eight. Let's see how many times. One, two, three, four. Four is good. So I hit eight on the number pad four times. So I'm gonna left click that top vertex there. One for front view. And then uh, decimal key in the number pad, zoom in center of that. I'll spin the wheel on the mouse zoom. All right, G, Z. And pull that up to its flush with the other vertexes there, the other vertices there. There we go. And later I'm gonna pull a stamp from there. All right, one for front view. And now I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to hit the number two on the number pad so I can see the bottom there. Just hit two a few times. And I left click that bottom vertex there. There we go. One for front view. Decimal key center of that. Spin the wheel to zoom. There you go. I'm going to make that one flush with those bottom vertices there. G, Z. Pull that down. And there we go. Now it's flat. So it'll sit flat. In case you want to 3D print this, it'll make it flat. But it's still not flat enough. So we're going to do more. So I got that bottom one there selected. Let me zoom out. <clears throat> I'll hold down the middle mouse button and move the mouse down. I can see the top. I want to select this one and the bottom one, both of them. So I'm going to hold on the shift key and left click that one right there. All right. So by holding on shift and click, shift click, I'm able to multi-select. So I got both of them there selected. One for front view. That's one key to center of that. There we go. I want to smash this down a little bit. Give it um, a good pumpkin shape, good jack-o'-lantern shape. So first, I'm going to activate the proportional editing tool, which is right here. It's that button right there. There we go. So you can also hit O for off screen. Your keyboard turns it off and on. See, it's a toggle switch. So when it's blue, it's on. When it's grayed out, it's off. All right. And I'm going to hit S for scale. You see a ring there around your jack-o'-lantern. 0.7 enter. So that's S, 0.7 enter. And by using this tool, let me undo that, it allows me to scale... Uh, more than just the selected vertices there. See, yes, 0.7 enter here. Without it, it just brought in the those vertices there. <clears throat> but if I turn it on, S 0.7 enter, and it brings up the rest of the mesh around the area there. All right. So that was the wireframe. So I activate the wireframe. That's Shift Z. Shift Z just a toggle between wireframe and the previous render. All right, cool. So there's my jack o' lantern. You want to make a stem, seven for top view. And I'm going to select these faces here. I can try to drag select these here. 
and I'll get them there. Or I can use C for circle select. There we go, and then spin the wheel, I get this ring there. And then left click there, and whatever inside that circle gets selected. And to turn on circle select, just right click. C for circle. All right, one for front view. I may E to extrude and go on, go up. That looks good to me. Move the mouse away. S for scale, move inward. Left click there. Cool. Cool looking stem there. And you can go as high as you want. Maybe you want a really long stem. So it's your jack o' lantern, right? So now I'm going to draw the face. I'm going to carve out the face here. So I'm going to try to visualize where you want to carve out the eyes, the nose, the mouth. So to do that, I'm going to use a knife tool. So that's K, K for knife. And you'll notice once you hit K, your cursor, your mouse cursor, it's going to become a little scalpel there, a little knife. Turn it off, just right click. Uh, you want to do this in front of you. So it went from front of you and the number pad. This way it's nice and flat here in the front. So K for knife. And I'm going to you see this green square. Once you snap onto a vertex, you have a, a red border around it. And I want to use the existing geometry here. It's going to make it easier for me to carve out my jack-o'-lantern. So I'm going to go to this vertex area, left click. One time, then pull the mouse up. So you get this purple line. And that's just the suggestion of where you're going to draw your, your new edge. So you're drawing an edge there. I'm going to left click there. And go down there and left click. All right. I want to do the other line, the other eye. As you can see here, the line kind of drags over. So what you want to do just hit enter. It'll come into those cuts there. There we go. And we created two new vertices there and added those uh, edges there. So I got one eye there. So the mirror of that's gonna be this one right here. So K for knife and get the red square there. Left click, go up to this one, left click there and go down to this one here. Left click there. There we go, and I hit enter to turn off the tool and commit to those cuts. There we go, cool. Easy as that, I got the eyes there drawn. Uh, you don't have to make the triangular eyes. You don't have to use those vertices. I mean, you can make them however you want. You can uh, try to draw an eyeball in there as well. <clears throat> So I'm going to K for a knife. I'm going to make the nose here, left click that one. And I want to try to go in the middle right here. So to do that, hold on the control key, and it'll snap between two vertices in the center part of that edge. So I'm going to hold on control. I'm going to left click there. There we go. Instead of trying to jump over this way, I'm just going to hit enter right there. Because if I try to jump over, it may not uh, snap to that axis. Sorry, it may not snap to that vertices there. So I'm going to left click here. All right, sorry, K for knife. Left click there. Go down, hold on the control key, so it snaps to the center there. Hold on that control, and then left click, let go control, and there we go. All right, cool, so I got the nose. Maybe you want to make the triangle point down, or maybe you want to make like two nostrils. It's your jack lantern, however you want. All right, now I want to make a mouth. I'm going to try to envision the mouth here. All right, let's see. I guess I can start out like up here somewhere and go down. I can start here. Let's see, you may want to give it buck teeth. I'm going to go with the buck teeth. All right, so K for knife. And hold on control, start in the middle here somewhere. Left click there. And I'm going to go down about right there. And then I'm just going to go straight over there. Hold on control, get it in the middle. Left click, enter. Cool. So I got one tooth there. Let me use the existing geometry here to make the, the rest of the tooth. K for knife, go back over here. I'm going to get the red, uh, the red square. I don't want it to have a bunch of random vertices all over the place. And about there, doesn't have to be perfect. Slide ball on it here. Left click there, enter. Cool. Okay for knife, make the rest here. Left click there. And then just those two teeth or should I add more? Uh, I think I'm cool with those. And let me go like right here, left click there, and go up there, left click, enter. I'm going to use this one here for the rest of the smile. K for knife. Left click there. Work my way down all the way. Let's go big smile right here. And then down here. Left click enter. So it's going to be my smile there. I got to try to remember that on this side. I'm going to go over here. Hold on control. Left click there. And it looks like I went up to there. And then I went up to this one here. Then I hit enter. Then I started down here again. K for knife. And I went down to this vertex. I'm just trying to mirror what I did on the other side. So I actually went closer in. There we go. Enter. Cool. So I got my jack o' lantern there with two buck teeth. Uh, of course, you can add the sharp teeth, whatever teeth you want. And now I'm going to cut these out. Now I'm going to carve out my pumpkin. So I drew my face. I'm going to go over to face selection here. 
know what the squares. I'm gonna left click one of these uh, faces here, I'm gonna delete. I'll hold on the shift key and left click the other faces here that I am going to delete. And this is where I'm gonna, these are the ones I'm gonna cut out. So I just drew them. Let me make sure to get these here. There we go. Hold the now shift key as I left click these to multi select. And there we go. If you accidentally, accidentally select the one over here, up to the side, just while holding down shift, left click it again, and it'll be selected. Cool. So there we go. Now I'm gonna delete those. So I'm gonna hit the X key to delete and select faces. That way you only delete the faces. There we go, cool. Got a pumpkin cut out. It's not uh, it's pretty flat, so let's give it some depth here. So I'm gonna hit A to select all. Then E S point nine enter. There we go. I uh, give it some depth. There we go, low poly jack-o-lantern. Now to add some color here, go to materials, new, start with the dominant color, it's gonna be orange. Orange, go inside base color, try to make an orange color. There we go, can't see it because I'm not in the render view portion shader, so I'm gonna select rendered here. See how that looks. Cool, all right, I got this uh, problem here with my uh, graphics card. So for me, I go to screen, screen space reflections and it works. All right, back to materials. Cool, there we go. Let me color the, the stem up here. Let me activate the wireframe, Shift Z, and drag select there across the top. There we go. There we go. So that's just for the stem there. Shift Z, plus sign, and then U to make a new color. And it's gonna be green, green. Green stem there, and then I made a sign. There you go, it's there. So there we go, we got our jack-o-lantern uh, colored. So now we're gonna go back to object mode, tab key, back to object mode. You can also switch to object mode up here. There we go, nice looking pumpkin. Uh, what we can do, we can add a little uh, candle animation. So I'm gonna shift A. So your pumpkins should be there in the center with the uh, course for there, shift A and go down the light, then select point, point light. There you go, so you got a light in there already. GZ, I'm gonna bring it down towards the bottom. There we go, and I'm gonna change the color of this. You can leave it like that, it already looks like a good color, or you can try to make it like a, a different color there. See, I made a red, a G for grab, put on this side. I'm gonna bring in one more. Shift A, light, point. You can bring in a third light, but I'm okay with two here just to keep the animation simple. But you can happily uh, bring in a third light there. All right, so make this one yellow and the other one's red. I'm gonna bring up the timeline panel here. I'm gonna turn on the record button right here, automatic keyframe insertion. And I'm gonna click on this uh, this light here. I'm at frame one, I'm in G for grab, just move it over here. I'm gonna select the other one over here, the other light that's over there. Try to select, there we go, G for grab, position it over there. There we go, now I'm gonna go over um, somewhere between frame 10 and 20. So that light selected. To make this easier, I'm gonna set them for top view. Shift Z for the wireframe. Now they're gonna be easier to select and they shouldn't go below the jack o lantern there. So I'm gonna G for grab, move this one over here. I'm at frame 14. I'm gonna select the other one over there. There we go, G for grab, position it over there. Now jump over about 15 frames more, about, so I went to 29, which is not 15 frames more, but it's about there. G for grab, just move this one around. So as we move these around, they're just kind of replicating the uh, the movement of the flame. G for grab. Let's put it over here. G for grab over there. All right, let me see. One for front view. Shift Z for solid. I'm going to frame one. See how that looks. Cool. Let me pause that. Back to frame one. And I'm just going to copy and paste these. All right. So after you animate one of the lights for a few frames, go ahead and select that light. And then down here in the timeline panel, you can drag select the keyframes in there. Or you, can, or you can hit A to select all. There we go, so I select them there. Now jump over 15, about 15 frames. Have the mouse cursor down here. Control V to paste, there we go. And jump over another 10, 15, 20 frames. Control V to paste. And I'm just clicking here on the numbers. If you click down here, it's not gonna move, it's not gonna move the timeline cursor, which is that blue marker there. You have to click up here on the numbers. Control V paste. Control V paste, and you can have it go out a bit. There we go. All right, so now I'm gonna select the other one. Uh, I can't see it from here right now, so I'm gonna select it from up here. 
There we go. I'm going to drag select these there. Control C copy and go in here. Control V paste. Control V paste. Control V paste. Control V paste. Uh, there's an extra one from earlier. We're making a, a re edit. There we go. Control V paste. So I'm going to go to frame one. Click this button here. Turn off the record button. Hit play. There you go. Back and forth. There you go. Let's see over camera view. Let's make this the camera view there. Control turn to zero. Uh, go to world. You make a darker background here. There we go. I'm going to render this out. Maybe add a little bit of motion blur, some blue. Cool. Blue is looking real cool. Uh, you know what? You can tell there's no candle in there. So let me go to a different view. Something like, like that. Control turn to zero. There we go. It's like the camera frame here. GZ, pull it up. All right there's good. Or G for gram, roll of thirds, put it around there. Cool. <clears throat> Ambient occlusion. Oh, oh no, I messed up. So I had the um, automatic keyframe insertion button on. I'm saying hit the X key here to delete those, delete keyframes. There we go. And turn that off. There we go. So it was actually animating the camera movements. Light button. There we go. So not have to worry about the camera moving around. All right. Change this to AVI JPEG. Click on the folder here, select the place to render it to. I'm going to go to desktop. Let's see, let's call it Happy Halloween. Accept. Control F12 and wait for that to render. Thank you for watching, guys. If you'd like uh, to support the channel, you can always subscribe, like, leave a comment, make some suggestions. I love suggestions. Uh, what else? Hit the notification bell. Share the video. But thank you for watching. Have an awesome day. Happy Halloween. Happy Fall. Happy October. Take care.